Here I have a combination square. It has a ruler here, one inch ruler. As you can tell, it's, it's in Imperial on this side and on the top it's in metric. This rule actually can move back and forth. There's a thumb screw here. You can move it back and forth. And let's say if you wanted to set it to one inch, you just line it up with the one inch, tighten it down, and it's set in place. So the nice thing about that is I can do a different functions with it in that mode. I'm set to the one inch. I take the body of the combination square. I put it up against the surface and I can do a layout line. Or what I can do is if I move along, I can draw a line all the way along. I loosen this thumb screw and I move it over to wherever I want. What I can do now is I can take the body, put it up against the surface, and now I can draw a line all the way along. That's 90 degrees. What I can also do is I can set this to 45. I can draw lines on the inside or outside. I can flip it over. And I can go 45 the other way too. Another trick is, is if I put my fingers in this position and I extend the pencil out as far as I want, I can butt up against the edge and I can draw myself a straight line like that. A couple other things with the combination square is there's a level on a lot of them. Also, there is a little pin that fits in the end here, which is called a scriber. So there's no reason why you can't come up against if you don't have a pencil. You can take this scriber, you can make a mark, and you actually have a little score mark there. It's great for putting this and using on metal, especially colored metal. You make a line and it'll be a real crisp line. It's easy to see. I can also lay out uh, center lines. So let's say if I want to do this and I want to make a center line, I can come down in here. I make a mark here. And if it's, if I flip it over and I come in from this way, I can do that. It sets me up for setting myself up for a, maybe putting a compass on it. Adjust the compass. Could do that on the edge. I could set it up so I make a full circle. What I can also do is I can lay out rabbits. If I have a dado like this one and I want to reset the depth or check the depth, what I can do is I can just loosen the thumb screw, push the body in, tighten it up, check it on the end to make sure that I am to the bottom of it, and that'll give me the depth that I'm at for that dado. If I have a board and I have a width like this here, and I want to find the halfway point, let's say I don't have a measuring tape with me, or it's kind of an oddball size and I'm not 100% sure exactly where halfway point is. What I can do is I can just set it up close. I know it's about five and a half, around, somewhere around five and three quarter. So what I can do is I can get it close. And I'll scribe a line. If I come off the backside and I flip it over, you're gonna see that there's a gap there. It doesn't matter whether I'm, I'm over with both of them or I'm under. What happens is halfway between here and here, which would be approximately there, should be the halfway point. So then I can just loosen this up and I can readjust it so that it's right on. And then I can check it again just to make sure and that'll get me the halfway point.